Hey guys, I was going to wait till Sunday to do this sermon, but I've decided I'm not going to wait. Um, it's called The Monster Inside. I hope you guys are doing well today. Father, I thank you for what you're about to do, what you're already doing, the, the miracles you are working in all our lives, God. I pray that your power permeate the sermon. Drench me with your Holy Spirit. Speak to me, speak through me, change lives. Do whatever you've got to do, God. Let Rachel die and Jesus live. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to be telling on myself today. Um, hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. Um, um, the other night, um, I was talking to someone in kind of a gossipy way, I'm ashamed to say. But you know, have you ever been in a situation where you where you don't gossip about celebrities, you don't care and you always err on the si side of love and you, you try to err on the side of love and if you don't know the person, know the circumstance, you don't, um, you don't, you generally try not to t talk about those around you or even celebrities. You can't, um, I can't stand celebrity gossip, really. I just don't um, like it. I don't think we have a right to do it. A lot of people think we do because they are in movies and, and uh, they are, they do music, but I don't think we have the right to do it. I think we say that we, we think things that are none of our business and, you know, all that stuff. We just don't mind their business and we think because they're public figures that it is our business what they do and we have a right to comment and a right to an opinion, which we don't, by the way. Um, but that, that aside, how vehemently I disagree with this on still saying all that on Sunday night, I found myself in a conversation that I was gossiping about some celebrity with someone. Um, and then after the conversation was over, I'm like, what am I doing? This is, this was not the right thing to do. Why didn't I change the subject? Why didn't I do that? And he's like, you didn't do it because you want to be accepted by that person. Because there's a part of you that did it because, not because you felt it was right, but because you want to be accepted by that person. There's a part of you, and the Lord said, it's the monster inside you. I went, like, Lord, forgive me. And I had the nerve to, to say, why is she saying that? Blah, 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 blah. When I was just as guilty in participating in it as she, as the person was, I was just as guilty. I could have shut it down. I'd be like, why is she saying that? I said, why is she saying that even though I was just as guilty? And I said, Father, forgive me. He's like, you're forgiven. He's like, but remember, there's a monster inside of all of us. And the whole, whole thing is to, um, to tame the monster. 
He said to me, the monster uh, will, will most likely never completely go away, but you can tame it. So it's very small. And you will have temptations, but know that there's a monster inside all of us and there there is something that we are all dealing with and there's a monster inside of us all there when i say a monster i mean something we're dealing with something that could hit us hit us and we can have the best of intentions but get around the wrong people and the monster comes out. That's why that's why we all, myself included, have to be careful about um uh what we engage in and or or who we are around. And even if it's coworker gossiping or in my case attendant gossiping, we need to just be very diligent, be very careful. And what I need to do is pray every booking that my words be edifying, not just gossiping. And that's what I'll start to do because uh, when when it comes to the human tongue, it can flap and wag and judge and do all that. So we we need to ask God's guidance for this and know that He's there to forgive us if we've done it. And I I came today to say there's a monster inside each and every one of us. There is something that we're all battling. There is something that we are all dealing with. It may not be that thing, but uh, we are all dealing with something. And and God is saying, remember, because of where I'm taking you, one day that that could be you. Um, Because you want to go to Hollywood and produce movies and all of that. So what if one day something like that happens to you and people uh, start wagging their mouths about you? And I said, Lord, I'm sorry. I had no call to talk about that person like that. And not only celebrities. And people, people in our own lives, and we feel we feel that we we have to have an opinion about this person and that person. When in reality, we don't. <laughs> we don't. If that person is not in our lives, we don't have to have an opinion about them. Um, if that person. Um, is not affecting us, we don't have to have an opinion about them. And it's a waste of our time. And while we were talking, this person said, well, a family mem- member went through a similar situation. And in my head, I was saying, yeah, but that family member is not this person. Every situation is different. There, there's a common saying that says there are three sides to every story. Story, your side, the other person's side, and the truth. The truth is base is usually somewhere in the middle, and even if that person puts themselves on display. You don't know what that person is going through. You don't know what that person's needy of. You don't know what that person is is like is like dealing with. 
and the person said, well, sh sh um, this person just in it for attention. And when, when I thought about it, I said, yeah, maybe she is because maybe it's something she's been looking for all her life. Who knows? And, you know, I, I always say this, uh, when you judge someone, there are three fingers point. When you judge someone with one finger, finger, there are three fingers pointing back at you. So, and I think we have to be careful of the monster of judgment because we just don't know, even if it's something we read and even if it happens to be the truth, which celebrity gossip really usually isn't, but even if it happens to be the truth, we don't know the reasons. We're not that, we're not in that person's life. We're not that person's doctors. We're not that person's therapist. How dare we? How dare we as a society think because people uh, preach publicly or do music or do movies, we have the right to uh, say things or judge things. And across the street, there are people doing doing worse. That's because the only reason we feel we have the judge, we can stand in the judgment is because we don't know what our neighbor down the street is doing. And we feel we have the right to do this. We need, we need to stop this as a society. We need to stop monetizing the gossip as Dak says. We need to start spreading love we need to stop getting ourselves in conversation stations and doing stuff because we want someone to like us or we want someone to think we're cool. Um, we sometimes uh, we have uh, the mistaken impression of of wanting people to think we're cool, so we do things that aren't right. I. I said some things that night that weren't right that were contributing to the conversation, and I shouldn't have said. I said them because there was something in me, some little part in me that wanted this person to like me. I know it's not right, but that was the monster within me. And there's a monster within all of us that if you let that monster free, that monster can kill and destroy people. So the Lord says, be aware of your monster. The Lord says, be aware of your kryptonite, that thing that snags you, whatever it may be. Be aware of, of it and put up safeguards to stop it. Like I said to myself, I'm going to pray before every booking that my that my words be edifying and loving. That's the safeguard I'm going to put up so I don't get myself into this gossipy mess that I, that I can have my heart clear and my conscience clear. clear, clear. Thank you, Lord. Bye, guys. See you later. Take care. Because we all have a monster inside of us, don't judge other people's monster. Pray for them and pray them through before you, before you judge them, before you... Um, put out a finger in judgment. Put out your arms in love. Pray for them. That God save them or he reveal. Or he provide a rescue for them. Whatever situation um, they find themselves in. Because we've got to understand that 
nobody is beyond help. Nobody is beyond the hand or arms of God to be rescued, to be saved, to be forgiven. Nobody is beyond that. And God's mercy is everlasting. And the same grace he has for me and you are the same grace he has for every celebrity, every famous person. It's the cross is level. And it's the same cross for everyone. And he wants you to know if you're going through an, an issue today, it's the same cross for you. He has the same grace for you, and he loves you so much. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye. Thank you for listening to The Monster Inside, this sermon. I really appreciate it. And Facebook, thank you. Thank you for all your love and support through the years. YouTube, thank you for all the new subscribers. I'm amazed at what the Lord is doing, how many um, people in the past few weeks have watched my videos. I am so grateful. And I got like 14 new subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much, you guys. I love you all so much. It is so amazing what the Lord is doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Bye. The, the monster only has control if you give it control. The monster only has control if you give it control. You, you think your monster has all control? That is only because you're giving it control. Stop giving it control. And you might need therapy to stop giving it control. You might need a pastor's help to stop giving it control. You will need God's help. Whatever it is, stop giving the monster control. You can be free from the monster today. The Lord says, I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. He's like, he's like, I've come to give you, to give you freedom from that, that monster. You don't have to be chained to that monster. The Lord has come to set you free today from whatever it is, whether it be gossip, whether it be whatever it be, drugs, alcohol, shopping, eating, whatever's your kryptonite, whatever's your monster. I'm telling you, you're not alone. We all have a monster. You, you're, you're looking at your neighbor, you're like, they don't. Yes, they do. We all have a monster. And it, it, it um, all comes down to taming the monster. Because the, the monster will say that you need, will remind you, you need Jesus. That's why it won't go, it usually won't go away com completely because it will, it will keep your need for Jesus. But, but if the monster's too big, it starts controlling you and keeping you from your destiny. So, so grab hold of that monster today and tame it. 
and God can use your monster to today. He wants to use it. He wants to turn it around for something good. He's turning around monsters today. He won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. Your monster. Sooner or later, and I'll turn in my favor. It's turning around the thing. You know, she loves you. The Lord is setting people free from their monsters today. The Lord is saying in this moment that you're watching this, whatever moment it is, you can be free from your monster just by the asking. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Bye.